Well, I'm really excited to show you my new set of pipes. They're right in here. They are ABCs, Ayrshire Bagpipe Company. Um, they are based out of Troon in Scotland. Um, you know, they, they're a family product, the Mulherns, and the uh, current proprietor is Ben Mulhern. This is, uh, it has come highly recommended to me by other trad musicians, um, pipers that are traveling around the world and playing with other instrumentalists. Um, the, the benefits for me are going to be manifold and I'm going to enumerate them here. Um, so what I did basically was I got the Ayrshire Bagpipe Company at their basic model, which is, um, you know, the pipes are entirely made out of acetyl. Um, the benefit there is that, um, each unit, each piece is solid, entirely solid. It's incredibly light. Um, the projecting mounts are on these are button style, very, very small, uh, also reducing weight. So as a traveler, I am looking to reduce weight in my instrument. Um, my silver pipes are quite heavy. Also, the silver uh, almost always comes up on the x-rays in the, uh, you know, the security machines and airports and causes additional hassle. Um, they always come up, you can see them right through any kind of box, and um, they uh, turn up as a questionable item. Uh, so I went with their, uh, their, you know, their basic model, which is um, called ACE-01. Uh, so yeah, no metal, um, no, also no imitation ivory on uh, these. Uh, as you can see, the drone tops here also uh, have no adornments. Um, they're entirely solid pieces so that the ring caps are not a separate piece to fall off or to chip or break. The um, projecting mounts are also completely integrated as a solid piece uh, so they will not chip and fall off. And um, what I like about these entirely black minimalist looking design here is that, um, you know, it could look great on stage. Uh, it doesn't have uh, all the trappings of a traditional instrument in terms of um, you know, if it doesn't look like a military style instrument. Um, an idea that I got just while, as I was putting the instrument together was, oh, tape, I use a piece of tape to um, distinguish the uh, middle tenor uh, so that I could keep it consistent. Cool thing with that is that uh, now giving me ideas, uh, you know, like the Van Halen guitar concept. What would, what would this be like to, uh, you know, to have different designs um, on this either tape or uh, glow-in-the-dark tape, gaffer tape, or painting, what type of thing, you know, appropriate for each project. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited about these. I want to give them uh, a whirl in terms of uh, what they will sound like. And um, basically what I'm going to do there is, uh, you know, I'm going to use an old set of, you know, broken in set of easy drone reeds that are, you know, use, you know, that I use for about a 480 um, hertz pitch setup, um, which is kind of like solo for me, solo or uh, gigs type of stuff like funerals, um, you know. The type of pitch that I want to be at where I'm not really trying to work with other musicians. I'll give them a whirl at that, but um, ideally I am looking to travel with these around the world and to play at all sorts of pitches, B flat, um, you know, standard pipe band pitches, uh, solo pitches. Um, anyway, this great set of pipes here. The, here's the real cool thing. The, the drones and the blowpipe and the stocks without a chanter and without a bag were only 250 pounds. I cannot find a cheaper uh, set of bagpipes. And also they came highly recommended. So we're getting the best out of both worlds for me. Um, comes with an adjustable blowpipe called Big Bore. Incredibly large bore, really ease uh, of airflow, like no restrictions uh, so that the, the blowing is super steady. It also has an elliptical mouthpiece here. It's kind of comfortable. Um, anyway, it's adjustable with the telescopic bit. Okay, here we are again, uh, looking at the Ayrshire Bagpipe Company. Uh, we're looking at their acetyl model, uh, number one, ACE-01. Uh, these are what the parts look like. I had already um, put in the stocks into this Bannatine bag. It's relatively painless to get stocks into the Bannatine bag. Um, so another reason why I chose this. So 
hassle-free bagpipe setup. So first off, I'm going to get the um, blowpipe into its stock. Now, as you can see, the hemp that I'm using, I'm just going with the uh, factory hemp at this point. One of the reasons why I'm leaving the factory hemp on is that it is dry hemp, the traditional dry hemp. With a plastic bagpipe, I am anticipating moisture issues uh, different from those on the wooden pipes. So any kind of absorbency that I can have, I will take. Also, um, because of the dry hemp, um, I will show you later that I can get a little bit more range of tuning um, than the classic wax model, which is sort of designed to keep you stable in one spot. So these are great. Let's see. These drone stock bottoms here. Uh, it's nice. They're threaded on the inside. So uh, those of you that have been in the business know that sometimes the reeds will fall out. So... It's nice to have an extra latch here. Uh, I am just, again, putting in uh, another set of easy drones that I have used for a while that I'm sure work just to kind of give this a little bit of control. So yeah, here, there's a latch in there. Nice threading here in the drones. And on the third one, See, there's nice threading. I'm gonna push that in. Yeah, definitely going to latch in there. Looking good so far. Now I used, uh, fortunately I had this black cord already, so I ordered mine without cords. I knew that I could have this black on black sort of minimalist design uh, already. So, but as you can see, it takes tape quite well. Uh, it's going to give me some ideas for the future. So, putting everything together, here is the base. And inserting that here into a sort of normal plane position. I think they look great. They look really slim. They are super light, super, super light. So um, I don't feel bad having a, a light bag here too. Um, often with my heavy pipes, I need a good size bag to counterweight it. Um, so something like a Canmore wouldn't work, but, um, in this case, the Bannatine is a good weight for me. It's about as minimal as I'm ready to go. Oh, look at that. They look quite smart, I would say. Anyway, let's see how they sound. I'm so excited.